Now I'm joined by Lord Kenneth Baker, former Education Secretary and something of a reformer, because in your time some big things happened. Yeah. The introduction of the national curriculum mm -hmm. and, of course, the merging of the old O-level and CSE yeah, correct. into Absolutely right. the GCSE. All of that. And as a reformer you had quite some battles with the unions, yes. I remember. And getting change of any kind is, is, is difficult. Yeah. What is Rishi Sunak trying to do here? I think what Rishi Sunak should be doing is talk about number, not maths. Children should be leaving school who are numerate, understand number, otherwise they're a disadvantage. Now, in the schools I'm promoting, universities, technical colleges, some youngsters want to do A-level maths because they're going on to do that at university or engineering. Which is fine. But most don't. We have core maths, which is half the level of an A-level. And this deals with the number. It, it, it makes it practical, because children at 18 must be numerate. Now, you, I think, worked as a, as a, as a dealer in yeah, all some in message. Yeah. Now, you knew about numbers. Yeah. You knew about margins. You knew about profits. You knew what the figures were. Now, children ought to leave like that, knowing about number. So, it's in fact, they, I did, as you mentioned, quadratic equations and simultaneous equations for the predecessor of the GCSE it's called the school certificate 600 years ago. <laughs> and I've never used them since. Yeah. And when it came to trigonometry, uh, you know, a circle, you had to learn that the diameter of a circle, if you multiplied it by the irrational number 3.11 pi, gave you the confrontant, the, yeah, the circumference. circumference yeah. Lovely thing to know. I've never used it in my life. No. I've never had to use it. But I have had to know about margins. I was a businessman. I had to know what the margin was of profit. If, for example, you're a greengrocer and you buy five bananas for a pound and your accountant tells you you've got to get 50% profit, what do you charge for your bananas? So, so we're not talking here about mathematics, Kenneth Bacon. No. We're talking here about life skills. You're talking about total life skills, and that is what my skills, my schools give to youngsters at, at 18 when they leave. Now you've got a series of free schools that yes. you're in charge They're of. They're free schools, 44, yes. Yes. 20,000 students, yes. and we give them vocational training and skills training. And they were going into a numbered world. They're, whatever they're going to do, they're going to yeah. use numbers. Yeah. And they've got to understand margins and percentages, just as you did as a trader. Yeah. When you were trading on the metal exchanges, yeah. you had to know your margins yes. and your percentages, didn't well, if you, you? If you didn't, you heart, not. Well, you wouldn't last all that long, otherwise. I mean, so you didn't have to do equations. You're not an equation man. You're a no. results man. No. no, 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 no. That's absolutely true for me. But when you talk about the schools that you're involved with, and you talk about vocational training, yes. practical training that people can use yes. afterwards. I don't hear that being talked about in Westminster at That's all. The trouble. It's as if the Blair Doctrine, which the Conservative Party went along with, that we had to up the number of people that went to university yes, yes, almost yes. for the sake of it. Yeah, I agree. At the expense I mean I you know I know people in the engineering sectors, for example, and look at nursing, where we literally have to import from abroad. Correct. All of that. Now look, in my schools 25% of our students become apprentices. 25% become apprentices. 50% go to university to do STEM subjects, only STEM yeah. subjects, yeah. practical subjects. Yeah. The rest get local jobs. So as a result, we have some of the most successful schools in the country. We train them for the job market. And that's what is missing from the schools today. The, the academic curriculum that was imposed by Gove is far too academic, eight academic subjects. Nothing practical is taught. We don't actually teach our children data skills at school. Mm. And data skills are absolutely necessary in this A1 so. world, artificial intelligence world. You've got to understand as well. The Prime Minister talked about changing the culture. You know, he says that, you know, that, that no one's embarrassed to say they're bad at maths and it's this big drive for maths. But actually the cultural change that's needed is the one that you talked about a few moments ago. The cultural change is that rather than people guessing you know, their GCSEs, their A-levels yes, yes. and their degrees in social yes. sciences and all that, having a jolly good three years, I'm yes, sure, yes, yes. that actually the cultural change that is needed is in Westminster to understand the importance of these life yeah, skills. How, how do we get there? Well, look, we have a chance in the next election. Each party is now going to think what it's going to say in this manifesto in 18 months' time. And I'm trying to persuade the Conservative Party to be really radical. They've got to abandon the, the academic curriculum in our schools and they've got to bring back data instruction and practical studies. In my colleges, 14-year-olds 
take two days a week making and designing things with their hands in workshops and in laboratories, or they go and visit companies. Mm. That's why they get jobs. They're working for jobs. And we deal with lots of disadvantaged children, and we also deal with some really bright children. And that's what has to happen to our education. Now, look, this is a major task for whoever wins the next election, to change technical education dramatically. It's needed in our country desperately. And so I'm I'm pressing very hard that the Tories should be radical. Do you think by doing what you're doing that you're making school more interesting, more yes. relevant, more exciting. Yes. We don't get absenteeism. We take in some difficult children at Fortune who are totally fed up with education, utterly fed up with education. But by using their hands, taking things, they, they use tools for the first time in their lives. They measure things accurately, metal accurately, or plastic accurately, or wood accurately. They use machinery. It changes their attitude. In, in edu- we don't have disruption in our schools. We hardly ever expel a member. We only expel a member if they've actually hit a teacher. Otherwise, we, d- we cope with them, we change their attitudes. Well, I'm going to come and visit. Please, come no, and visit no, one. No, I'm going to come with GB News and visit one of these schools and see how you do it. Okay. Because I think what you're saying, I, I find it actually quite inspiring. Yes. Um, and very. Kenneth Baker, thank you very much indeed nice for coming to be in. With you. And one thing I should that. say, I went during the war, evacuated to Southport to a primary school, ordinary church of England primary school in a working class area. And we learned our time t- times tables by chanting aloud. One, one, three is three, two, three is a six, three, three is a nine, six, six is a this, nine nines are... Eighty-two. Eighty-one. Eighty-one, sorry. Yeah, yeah, close. <laughs> That's why you're coming yeah. to my college. Yeah, yeah. I, I better come back. <laughs> <laughs> Kenneth Baker, thank you. Only one big problem with Kenneth Baker, and it's a major